What's up, YouTube? This is Galacticod, and I'm coming at you today with a full tally of everything we were able to get from our Order of Chaos Special Edition case box. So as you can see, lots of really great hollows in here, uh, a crap ton of effect veilers. For those of you wondering, we did get an almost 50-50 split. There was a total of 120 promo cards. We got 58 effect veilers and 62 of the raws. So it is pretty darn close, pretty much 50-50, just two cards difference, really. Uh, or two cards more until we get a full 50-50 split. So that was pretty cool, pretty interesting. For those of you wondering, um, we had actually pre-sold 40 copies of the Effect Veiler uh, over YouTube. So we uh, you know, had a pretty good uh, uh, run going into the, the actual case opening. We already sold most of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep three for myself, so that leaves uh, 15 extra for trades and sales over YouTube. Uh, some of those are already gone. There are just very few of those left for those of you wondering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get right into all the cards that we were able to pull from the case. All right, we're going to start right off here with the monsters, the, norm the effect monsters, as you can say. So here we go. And we were able to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six copies of Tour Bus from the Underworld. It was pretty incredible, actually. Uh, my girlfriend actually pulled two of them from the same uh, box that she opened. Um, it was pretty cool to see. Um, pretty incredible, really. Six copies of this little lady. Um, I, I never thought I'd be holding six copies of Tour Bus from the Underworld in my hand. And here they are. Very neat, very cool. Uh, pretty incredible to get that many of the same secret. Very cool. All right, from there we got two copies of Ga 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 Girl, two copies of White Dragon Ninja, one, two, three, four, five copies of Hanzo, one Ultimate Rare Giga Mandis, and one, two of the Ultras. Evil Sword, we got one, two, three of him. Uh, Dark Storm Dragon, one, two, three, four, five, six Dark Storm Dragons. Uh, which one of them is falling? Does not want to stay in my hand. Those of you interested in Gemini decks. For Wind Up Rat, we got one, two, three, four, five of him. So five Wind Up Rats for our uh, case. That's about uh, almost one every other box. We did get on one of the Wind Up Rats, I don't know if you can see it, there's like... I don't know if you'd call it a misprint. There's like a little white ink blotch or something on the corner. Kind of interesting. Uh, for Wind Up Shark, we have one, two, three. So a full play set. So that's about one out of every four boxes. For Insector Hornet, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven Insector Hornets. That is pretty crazy, too. Um, out of the original case box from the just standard edition, uh, when it first came out, uh, I only pulled three out of the whole case, uh, my three playset actually, and so now I have plenty to trade and sell, um, seven of them in fact. Uh, this one also, this one has like a little white ink blotch up there at the top, it was kind of strange. Uh, both the Rat and the Hornet uh, wasn't a card that was, you know, worthless to get the white ink blotches, it was, you know, some of the better ones, kind of crazy. Okay, so... I'm going to dive right into, I guess, uh, Spells and Traps next. So for the Insector Sword, we were able to get two, three, four Insector Swords. Four. Um, not quite as bad as we had to pull in the original case, but still, no one's really looking for Insector Swords. For the Insector Axes, of course, we got six of them, because, you know, everybody needs an Insector Axe, so it's just, you know, got to get six of them. For Creeping Darkness, four, five, six, seven, seven Creeping Darkness. So if any of you are out there looking for some Creeping Darknesses, make sure you let me know. I've got plenty for Trader Cell. For Armor Blast, you got one, two, three, four, four Armor Blasts. For Ar Armor Nijitsu Art of Alchemy, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them right here for you. For Evil Force, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Evil Force. Armor Ninjutsu Art of Rust Mist, we have two. Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation, one, two, three, four, four of them. For the greatest card of all time, Exceed Reflect, we've got one, two, 
three of the ultimates and then two ultras. I don't know why I had so many of the ultimates. Just the luck never seems to stop around me, apparently, and there you have it. So, you know, of course, maybe you're looking for those awesome Exceed Reflex. Don't forget, high-end trade value only. All right. So for the Synchros, we have Dark Diviner. We have one, two, three, four, four Dark Diviner. For Fusions, we have Twin Photon Lizard, one Ultimate, one, two, three, four of the Ultras. And then on to Exceeds. Um, we have for MX Saber Invoker, we got one, two, three, so a full play set of the Secret Rare Guy himself. For Insector Exa Beetle, we got two of them. For number 12, Crimson uh, sh Crimson Shadowy Armor Ninja. For some reason, I can never say his name quite right. We picked up two ultimates, and then one, two, three, four, five of the ultras. Pretty cool, nice little spread of him, I guess. For Blade Armor Ninja, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Blade Armor Ninja. That's pretty cool, actually. He's a pretty good card. For C number C39, Utopia Ray, I was actually hoping to pick up some more ultimates, but this was not the case. Uh, did not even able to pick up a ghost. Just three of the ultras, uh, which is cool. He's a pretty cool card. For our number 96, Dark Mist, we have one, two, three of the ultimate rare versions, and then one, two of the ultras. For Evil Sword Solda, I got one, two, three of the ultimates, and then one, two, three of the ultras as well. So play set of both kind. One wind up arsenals in Mehu. For wind up carriers in Mighty, we have one ultimate and one, two, three, four of the ultras. So, pretty nice, cool little spread of those as well. And that's going to pretty much wrap up my full tally of the Order of Chaos Special Edition case. Um, make sure you let me know what you think of my case pools in the comment section below. Also, if you're looking to buy or trade any of these cards, uh, make sure you check out my eBay page in the description go over there see what I have up on there for sale or you can shoot me a PM there's gonna be a list of my ones over on my channel page so you can take a look at those make me some sort of trade offer if you like and I guess that's it for now this is Glock to God